My name is Caitlin with West Palm Dog, and today I'm here with Rosby, and we're working on his sit. Now, sit's one of the foundational commands that we do give dogs, and a lot of dogs actually learn how to sit because they start to figure out that if they sit in front of you, they can get attention, food, anything else that they want. But we're going to go ahead and really solidify it on a verbal so that Rosby sits when we want him to sit. So I'm going to start by just offering some food. Rosby, sit. Yes. You see, he was going into a down right there, but I just waited and he fixed himself. I'm going to treat multiple times to comply a stay. Okay? And that just prevents Rosby from taking the food and running as soon as he's got it. So I'm going to toss some food. I already released him. I'm just going to toss some food and we're going to do that again. Rosby, sit. I'm going to go ahead and wait for him. Now you see Rosby's trying to figure out what I'm asking him to do. I'm looking for a sit. So I'm going to do. Yes. I just adjusted where my tree was and the second is butt hit the ground. Yes, give him the tree. And once again, I'm just treating multiple times to imply that stay. Okay. We're going to do that one more time if he's doing excellent. Just going to toss the tree just to get him moving. Rosby. Yes, good boy. I'm gonna give him one more. Okay, now if Rosby had gotten up in the middle of a sit or any type of situation like that, I would just put him back into a sit. <laughs> yes, I know. I would just put him back into a sit and wait before treating him because you don't wanna to treat too fast after a dog breaks. You don't want them to think that if they break, they can get food faster out of you. But still, really nice job from Rosby. He did really good. I like how fast he's responding. And even though we still got some solidifying to do, really nice job today from Rosby. Good boy. Good boy.